हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कोर्स यू आई एप्लीकेशन डेवलपमेंट यूजिंग वी बी डॉट नेट इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट अ मैसेज बॉक्स प्रोग्राम एंड एरेथमेटिक एक्सप्रेशन मैसेज बॉक्स सिग्निफिकेंस मैसेज बॉक्स यूज टू डिस्प्ले सिंपल मैसेज विच गिवस गाइडलाइन टू द यूज द मैसेज बॉक्स फंक्शन डिस्प्ले अ मैसेज एंड वेट्स फॉर अ यूजर टू क्लिक अ बटन and then an action is performed based on the button click by the user outcome after completion of this lecture you will be able to write a simple program to display a welcome message using message box you will be able to develop programs to solve the basic arithmetic expressions message box syntax the syntax of message box is as shown on the screen we are required to write message box that is msg box and in round bracket there will be three parameter first parameter is the prompt that is the message that we want to display for the user second parameter is optional which is required to specify what different type of button should be added into the message box and third parameter is the title which will given to the uh, title of the message box next is input box this is the syntax of input box again it is having some parameter to pass so the first parameter is the prompt which will indicate what message to be given to the user for reading the values second parameter is the title that is what title should be given to our input box after that the third parameter is default response means here the default value can be set in the input box if user will not input any input value at that time default value will be assigned after that x position and the y y position for displaying the input box so there are total five parameters used in input box so now we will see how these input box and message box use in visual studio for that i will shift to my visual studio friends this is our visual studio window and i will click the new project and i will select the console application and here i will specify the name for my project that is msg box and input box we can give any name so this is the name of my project so the project name is given here and by default there will be module 1 now here suppose i will write msg box so here it will specify me the list or the guidelines help for the parameter so the first parameter is prompt so i will write here the first message that is welcome to vb.net now the second parameter is the button this is the list of button that we can have as our second parameter we can use any type of button let us say message box style critical this is the type of button i want in my message box after that here i will give the title for my message box as a message box so i will save this and execute it so this is what the message box this is the title this is the message that i have given as a prompt and this is the symbol icon and the button that is display for the second parameter that is v uh, message box critical message box style critical okay suppose i will change this particular para parameter and i will use the another value so we can have these many types of buttons suppose i will use the question mark we can have this also okay 
so I will write and save it and run it so it will give question mark so this is the icon of my message box if I don't want icon just want the button so we can have that also so we can have default button two buttons or three button whatever we want okay so this is what here is the button that will be displayed no icon will be displayed okay so you can use here numbers also suppose instead of that particular value um, uh, text we can give numbers also let us say 2 the these numbers are assigned to that values so it will have that many buttons according to the uh, value assigned to it okay so this is about the message box now friends we will display some value now in VB uh, when we are declaring the variable we are required to write dim that is dimensions a a is the name of my variable and as and the type of that variable that is integer so a is the variable which is of type integer now I will assign some value to it let us say 10 and suppose I want to display that value in my message box so for that I will write down so prompt is and after that let us say I will take give this message box style critical and after that I will have the title as a prompt value and here it should have the value A so now we will save it and run it so this will what we want now we want the value of a okay so value of a it is displayed here 10 so where would we should write that the value of a as here it should display here so now let us see value of a is 10 okay so in this way you can display your values in message box also okay now my aim is to perform some arithmetic operation in this okay so for that I will take two variable a comma b and I will assign another value for b that is b is equal to let us say 20 now I want to display the addition of these two for that I will write plus b here so this will display the sum of a plus b so the sum of a plus b is displayed here I will display here or update my message that value of addition so we get value of addition is equal to 30 so now I will perform the another operation that message box which will display subtraction of these two numbers so for that I will just change here and here in message so it will be subtraction so similar way we will write for multiplication and division so here I will write multiplication 
multiplication and here division. And here we will modify it as a multiplication and here as a division. We can also have modular division. So this is the addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Okay. So friends, in this way we can use our message box. Now we will see how to use our input box. Okay. So for that instead of directly assigning value to A and B, I will use my input box. So whatever will be entered in my input box will be assigned to A. So I will write input box and here I will write the parameter. So first parameter will be enter value of A. So this is the prompt for the input box. Now here I will require to give title for my input box. So I will write here input box and here there is third parameter that is what default value. Let us say 10 is my default value and the x position actually x position and y position always start from this particular corner that is the left uppermost corner. Here the value of x and y will be 0 0. Now suppose I want to take input at this particular location that is from uh, here the x value will be 200 and from the top the y value will be 200. For that I will give here 100 comma 100. So this is what the input box and now I will use same for the value for taking uh, b okay and the default value and the x and y axis are same. Now here I will save it and execute my program. So this is my first welcome message. After that here at the location of 200 pixel from x and 200 pixel from y I will get the input box. This is my title. This is the message or prompt that I want to display in my input box and these are two default button. Let us say I will enter here some value 15 so that will be assigned to A and here it will have the second input box for reading the value of B. Now here I will use the another value let us say 25 my first value was 15 and second is 25 so I will press ok. So the addition of that two numbers is 40 and the subtraction is minus 10 and the multiplication is 375 and division is 0.6. So in this way we have displayed the result of these two uh, numbers uh, of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So friends, I think you have understood the use of message box and input box in our Visual Studio. Okay vb.net how we are using this message box and input box so thank